My name is Precious Sippen, and I am from Queens, New York, uh, born in the Philippines. Okay. I play Sherry in Chains by Shamira Hardin. Um, and Sherry is a perfectionist. Um, she just wants to do right. She wants to, she's really the mother of the group. And right now, I think she's really just looking for herself. It's a very humanistic play. I feel like as human beings, we're all very vulnerable and we all have chains that really just hold us back from really understanding ourselves. Hi, my name is Nicole Stanley, no middle name. I'm an actress and a designer and an entrepreneur and a social activist for youth and uh, women. Sister Mabel is a, a religious monster, I'd like to just call her that, because she really likes to manipulate people into, you know, thinking she's God and not who God really is. So, yeah, she's just kind of a bit of a monster. I think it's uh, heartfelt, it's theater for the soul is what I call it, and I think that it's um, it'll be an enjoyable experience for children, adults, teens, and basically everyone. So, the name of the character is Adam that I play. Uh, he's a guy that's 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 deeply in love uh, with um, Sherry. I I feel like this play is important. I feel like everyone um, everyone who's you know everyone has those those things that they're they're just chained to. You know? probably know that you're chained to it, or you probably don't know. And you know, watching this is something that may be an opportunity for you to actually find that out. I'm Sean Boyce Johnson, and um, I was born and raised in Queens, New York, and I love to cook. I play Ace, who is a typical guy at the club who's trying to pick up as many girls as possible. If he can go home with a girl that night, he's successful. He's also the guy standing on the corner selling drugs to the local whoever, whoever's there, you know. Um, I think people should come see this play because everybody can relate to having something that's holding them back from being their true selves. And I feel like the majority of the characters in this piece have something that's holding them back. My name is Cherie Danielle, and um, something about myself is that I just love to have fun, and I'm very silly, and I like to have a good time, and I love people. The character that I'm playing is Danielle, and she's having a battle right now with um, her sex addiction. and. Um, in the play, you just basically see um, how she's dealing with it. Not only is it entertaining and the writing good, but it also has a good message. And I think you'll really leave um, from seeing the play change. I'm very proud of everything that's happening, and I just see big things in the future for True Stages. My name is uh, Yumi Jean-Francois, and I'm from Haiti. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I play the character of Gwyneth. Always known as Gwen. Um, I like to think of Gwen as the fun, happy rebel in the trio. Um, she loves her friends dearly. She likes to hang out with her friends a lot. Um, she likes to live life to the fullest. And um, I like that. People have to see this play um, because it's important. It's beautifully written. Um, it's not one of those plays that I like to call predictable. Um, it's interesting. It'll change things in you, it'll make you question things about yourself. So that's always a good thing, you know? Uh, I think it's a play that's relatable to everyone. Everyone knows somebody or maybe themselves, have, you know, some has chains or addictions that's just holding them back from you know, being who they need to be. And I think that even if you don't have an addiction, it's just gonna it's just gonna touch you, it's gonna it's gonna move you and it's why not? You come out, you know, to see a show that's gonna just uplift you and make you happy. My name is Shamira Hardin and I'm the founder of True Stages Theater Company. Um, I'm also a dancer, poet, spoken word artist, playwright, um, and actress. I studied theater at Howard University, HU. I was inspired by just life, <laughs> you know, my life experiences and the experiences of those around me. Um, just noticing how many people have struggled to overcome something. How, and I mean, it's just like something that's common amongst mankind, you know, human beings everywhere. We all know what it's like to 
um, have something holding us back or feel like there's just something that we want to break free from or we know it's not good for us but we just can't seem to let it go or we can't break free from it so I wanted to write something that speaks about that. I did this show in DC and the responses I got were just, you know, they were, they were really humbling because I really feel that this vision um, is, is bigger than myself. It's, it's more than just seeing a show, it's an experience. So this is something that everyone should experience. This time around, I'm excited. This is, I've done some revisions since I did the show in DC. So it's a new and improved version. Um, you know, I have this this awesome cast that, I don't know, this this, this version is going to be really, really amazing. And I'm expecting um, the impact to be even stronger than it was in D.C. So, it's going to be awesome. <laughs>